Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. In today's video, I want to teach you about how to make faceless videos for YouTube that are very popular, especially this season. I'm going to teach you all about how to make your own Halloween videos, which are currently trending, and I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to make this type of video. Here's an example of a channel that has TV background style videos. So this person just has a bunch of different fireplace background videos with different music, and they have thousands of views on all of their videos, and they do not show their face. These are the sorts of tags right now that are very popular, Halloween music, Halloween ambience, Halloween background. So when people are having their Halloween parties for their children or their own adult Halloween parties, they like to throw on these sorts of videos on their television or just to have in the background when they have trick-or-treaters coming to the door. These videos are really easy to make and I'm going to show you exactly how to make them. So this right here is a playlist. This playlist has 3.6 million views and it's basically just a slideshow of different pictures that are on the screen for about 30 to 40 seconds each with spooky music. And this is something that you can easily create using royalty-free background music. I'm going to show you where and how to download that music and those images and videos for free and how to put it all together. So what do you need? You need a theme. So there are a lot of different Halloween style videos out there and you want to make something a little different from what other people have. So your theme could be something that people can play on their TV, background music, a trick or treat playlist, Halloween party, haunted house, whether it's spooky or for adults, or if it's something that's for kids, etc. You're going to need videos, images, and royalty free background music. I'll show you where to go to get that animations and effects, which are optional but recommended to make your videos even more interesting. And then you need video editing software to compile the media. I use Filmora. I've linked you in the description below to a link to get Filmora. Filmora is a paid software, but it's very affordable and I do highly recommend it. So first I want to show you some examples of videos that are really popular. This one here was made a year ago. It has over 1,500,000 views. This one here has over 8 million views and essentially it's the exact same image throughout, but they just have the chapter set for different songs. So when you download different songs to use in these videos, you could just select different chapters and make a title for each song. This is the one I showed you before. This is a kid's themed one and that's important because if someone wants to put on Halloween music for their kids, they don't want anything really scary. So if you make a playlist, full of kid-friendly images and mix them together with some spooky music. This is a great thing that parents can put on for their kids' Halloween party or when kids are coming to go trick-or-treating. And here's another video. This is literally a two-hour video and it's just the exact same scene of these pumpkins with spooky music. So where can we get our free media? First of all, you can get images by going to unsplash.com and then you can just type in Halloween, you could type in fireplace, whatever you want. And you can see this is the exact same image that that person used in their video. They just downloaded this image. And if you go here, look, it's the exact same image. They just added some effects in the background, some like falling leaves and animations in the background, but it's the exact same picture. And this video has over 38,000 views. So you can go ahead, download any of these images to use, or you might want to get videos. So you can go to pixabay.com, type in Halloween and search under videos. And all these ones at the bottom are completely free. So if you want to do a kids themed Halloween video, you'd probably want something like this, something like this. But if you want something more for adults or more spooky, you know, you choose something like this or this. You can also download videos from Pexels. Again, just typing in spooky or Halloween and you can download all of these videos as well and use them for free. Now for music, we'll go to Pixabay and you'll search under music and there are all sorts of amazing, creepy Halloween tracks. So just type in Halloween and you can see some of these are two minutes long, five minutes long. So you can just download a bunch of these songs and compile them together. There are so many that you can choose from. It's awesome. They're scary ones, ones for kids. So just go ahead and click download on the one you want to use and then that will download the MP3 file. 
Another thing you can do before you start creating your video is go into YouTube Studio. You can do some keyword research by clicking on analytics and then click on research and type Halloween ambience, for example. And that will show you that the search volume on YouTube is high for Halloween ambience, Halloween ambience music, spooky Halloween ambience. Type in things like that, Halloween music, Halloween party music. Halloween music playlist, vintage, scary, Halloween music for kids. These are all keywords you can use when you are creating a video to try to get more people to watch your videos. Okay, so now it's time to create our video. For this, we're going to use Filmora. Again, you can click in the description below this video to get Filmora. What we're going to do is click here to import our media and just click and drag all of the images that you want to use or the video footage. And the first thing I want to do is add a spooky title. So I'm gonna click here on titles and under titles, I'm gonna put in horror. And if here we're going to, on this tab here, we're going to click free. So these will be all of our free ones that we can use. So I'm gonna just use this Halloween pack title and drag it down here onto one of the tracks on the timeline. And if we press play, that is what will, it will pop up as. So we can change this, the text, by double clicking here. And I'm just gonna put in spooky Halloween music and then okay. So this will be our title. Then we're going to click on media again and I'm just going to add the images or videos that I downloaded from that website. So just click and drag and here just click keep project settings. So you can click on this playhead here and press play to preview and that will show you what our video is going to look like and just keep adding the different media that you want to add by clicking and dragging. And as you can see, I'm just adding these different images and videos. Now, if some of your videos have music or sound and you don't want them to because we're going to add music at the end, you can right click on the clip and then click mute. And that way we won't hear the music or the sound in this video because we want to use the music that we're going to add later. So you're literally just going to go through and add all of your footage together. For these sorts of videos, you probably want it to be an hour or so. So just keep adding footage until you get to an hour. And let's say now we want to add some transitions so it doesn't just flip like that. We wanna add some spooky transitions. We can click here on transitions. So under transitions, I've just typed in Halloween and then I've selected free. So you can see all the free transitions that you can add. So you can add any of them, that you, the ones you like, and just click and drag it between the two clips to add it. And once you're done adding your transitions, you might also want to add some effects. We can click here on effects and we can type in Halloween. And if we click here on free, we can see all of these different effects that we can use. And we can see this one here. There's like some cool smoke that we can add. And this is especially great if you're using images and you want to add some life to the images. There's all sorts of really cool, like look at this, really cool effects that you can add. Even like this horror film one, um, which is really cool. So let's say I wanna make this scene a little scarier with the ghosts. I could add this horror film effect and I can just click and drag it over top of the clip to add it to the entire clip. And you can see it's made it kind of like this horror black and white sort of a, an effect. And there's all sorts of these different cool ones that you can use. You could also click on elements and again, type in Halloween. And there's all these cute little um, elements that you can add, little ghosts, little whatever. And this is great for kids if you're making a kid themed video. Okay, so at the end, what we're going to do is add music. So we'll click on media. We'll add the song that we want to use and we'll click and drag it down to the audio track, which is right here with this music symbol. And we're gonna cut the audio track where the video ends. So just go after your last video or image, click this scissor icon, and then click on this clip here, the second um, clip that you want to cut, and then just press delete on your keyboard to delete it. 
and then click on the audio track, hover your mouse to the end, and you can see this little arrow, and then click and drag until it snaps to the length of the video, and that way the audio will end when your video ends. And we can add a fade out um, by clicking on this white marker here and pushing it out to the left, and you can see it's created this fade out. And to adjust the volume of the clip, we can double click on it and bring this down to let's say minus 15 or whatever, um, and just play around with that. And then you can press OK, and you can press play to preview. So once you're done adding all of your footage and your music, you'll click on export, and then you'll export it as local MP4, and we can put Halloween spooky music playlist, for example, and then export, and then the video will start exporting. So I recommend making as many of these videos as you can. Make ones that are targeted towards adults, adult Halloween parties, haunted house, and then also ones that are targeted towards just kids because obviously some adults are looking for kids Halloween music, nothing that's going to really scare them. But right now all of this is trending. People are getting in the Halloween spirit and, and they want to watch videos related to Halloween and this is the time to start creating them. Don't wait until Halloween to create them. Right now on Instagram, all I'm seeing are Halloween decorating videos, Halloween cooking videos. So it's the time right now to create these videos and have them on YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. You can also check out my other video tutorials on other faceless channel ideas, which I will link you to in the description below this video as well. I hope you guys have a great day. I look forward to creating more videos for you and I will see you in my next tutorial.